Igneous rocks are rocks which are formed from a molten magma or lava. The word igneous comes from the Latin word ignis, which means fire, and they certainly have a fiery origin. Magma is molten rock found in the Earth's crust below the surface, and when it comes out onto the Earth's surface, we call it lava. There are two main types of igneous rock. Volcanic, or extrusive, formed from that lava which comes out onto the Earth's surface. The lava cools quickly and therefore any crystals can hardly be seen because the rock has cooled so quickly they haven't had time to form. A good example is basalt. Volcanic ash is also an extrusive rock. The lava has come out through holes to form volcanoes or cracks to form lava plateaus. The second type is intrusive or plutonic. Here the rock has cooled slowly within the Earth's crust to form rocks like granite or gabbro or dolerite. Igneous rocks are usually quite hard and therefore often form upland areas. Dartmoor is a great example. The granite of Dartmoor cooled slowly in a batholith deep in the Earth's crust about 250 million years ago. Since then the overlying rock has been eroded slowly to expose the granite on the surface. Another example is the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. This is composed of basalt and it's cooled in a strange way to leave col columns of basalt. Hadrian, the Roman Empire, built a wall to separate Scotland from England and he used an igneous rock feature, the wind sill, to build his wall because it was already a steep-sided bit of land. See if you can find what igneous rocks you've got about you. See if you can find where Hadrian built his wall, where Dartmoor is, and have a look at a map at where the Giant's Causeway is.